Hey guys, it's Lori, and I'm just finishing up my day today. So I'm just saying hi after work instead of before work. It's snowing a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but it is snowing a little bit. And it has been all day long, but just this little, just these spitting these little flakes all day. But yeah, and it is really cold. This morning it was something like, I actually took a screenshot of it this morning. I don't know why, but I did. It's like 30 degrees, felt like 17 or something crazy. It was so windy. It's not windy like that now. Thank goodness. It was really cold this morning. That wind just whipped right through you. Yeah, so I just got done doing a job that I've never done before. So it was a new one. And she sent me a message this morning and said, I can't believe I did this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But I got to the office and realized that I have your money with me. I grabbed the envelope along with a stack of boxes I had to bring. I'm like, it's okay. So she just pulled up and gave me, <laughs> gave me the envelope. I can kind of hear my music actually. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but <laughs> I just shut, I just shut off my car. I guess the lights did shut off, but I noticed right at first they were still on, but do you guys Black Friday shop? Did you do any Black Friday shopping this year, day after Thanksgiving? Um, I don't think that's a thing anywhere, but in the, in the States. In Canada, is that a thing? I don't know. I don't think it is. Well, anyway, I know in America it is a thing. Um, yeah, I'm curious. My Canadian friends, is that a thing in Canada, Black Friday? Anyway, there was like tons and tons of Black Friday sales online, which that's that's my thing right there shopping online. But as far as Christmas shopping goes or anything else for that matter, that'd be great if I could just do everything online. But <laughs> then we wouldn't have very fun shop with me, would we? And I'm just kind of rambling on now. I was just going to ask, do you Black Friday shop? I've done it twice. One time with a friend of mine years ago, and I swore I would never do it again. Well, then John said that he had never been Black Friday shopping. I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? He actually kind of likes to shop, but I don't really love to shop, believe it or not. Believe it or not, I don't love to shop. <laughs> but maybe if I was rich, I might. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. But anyway, I said, okay, so you have to experience Black Friday shopping once in your life. So we did the thing where we got up and headed out at like 3 a.m. and got in line at the stores and oh my gosh it was it was horrible it was a horrible experience both times <laughs> train but yeah he said never again he said I'd rather slam my head in a car door than to go black black friday shopping ever again so and that is what he said <laughs> but is black friday shopping even as big of a thing as it used to be like I know in 2020 it kind of fizzled out for 2020 because of the pandemic did it ever really come back in full swing like it used to be i don't really know because i don't do it and we don't get the newspaper so we don't see any ads for it like like paper ads i see things online but that's for websites amazon and stuff like that but my kind of black friday shopping like i said is online or cyber monday shopping that's that's what i like but we did do a little Black Friday shopping. And let me show that to you right now. Here's our Black Friday shopping for the day. <laughs> I saw this curb alert on Facebook and John immediately, believe it or not, <laughs> immediately went to, went to pick it up, him and Chase. These are ammo boxes, <laughs> three ammo boxes. Pretty cool, right? Those are good ammo boxes, aren't they? Well, from what I can see. Yeah, I mean, Nothing wrong with them, but and then, and there was this box of medium-sized gloves, just the um, nitrile gloves, rubber gloves. This uh, cheese board, and it's a charcuterie platter and serving tray, and it says it comes with the steel cutlery wine opener, which was removed from the box, but I mean, big deal. Otherwise, this would be like brand spanking new, but this is really good quality too, these two little dishes that come with it. This is, um, it says this is the fruit tray with, like, you can put, like, I don't know, fruit dip or something in it. I don't know. But, here, hold that. I know, it's so heavy. This thing, they ripped this open, and, and that's because they took the, um, the cutlery and the wine opener out. Big deal. This thing is so heavy, guys, I can't, 
I cannot lift this with one hand. <laughs> this thing is super heavy. I can't believe it. That's really nice. And this stuff is obviously brand new. So there's this. And this controller right here. Chase, this was brand new, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it still had like the protective film stuff on it and everything. This thing is brand new. And did, did you say you don't have a system that this will work on after all? Right, but he knows somebody that he works with who does. And it's actually the girl that gives him rides all the time, so that's perfect. Oh, well, I, I was gonna slip it out of there, but I mean, it's it's brand new. It's a brand new controller. And then he grabbed the Chase. I'm glad Chase went, or I wouldn't. We wouldn't have gotten any of this stuff. <laughs> These are freezer things for inside lunch boxes and stuff. And it just, I guess, they must have been inside that. Two more controllers that will work on your game system, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two more controllers plus this. Hang on to that end, Chase. It's uh, adjustable, a nice strainer for in your sink, and this it just has this container. These are the containers that John uses for his lunch every day, but this is just like slightly bigger, I think. But anyway, that just happened to be inside of this basket that Chase grabbed because he thought I would like it, and he's right, I do. <laughs> so here's our Black Friday shopping haul. Yeah, while they were off snagging all these roadside finds on Black Friday. I stayed home and started taking down all the fall stuff. And since I never shared with you a fall home tour, home decor tour, um, I, I guess I'll show you me taking it all down <laughs> instead. I did forget a couple of things. I forgot the wreaths on my front porch and the pillows, the, the fall pillows that I had put out and just a couple other little itty bitty things that I had like out on the front porch and stuff, I forgot. And I found a couple little uh, picks of fall leaves and stuff that I had sitting around. It's like, oh shoot, now I'm gonna have to climb back up into the attic again. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Yeah, so for dinner tonight, I think I'm gonna do the pork roasts that I got at, or I got a big pork loin the last time when I went to Costco. And I have a hunk of it that I cut for a pork roast and then the rest of it I cut into pork chops. So I think I'm gonna cook that pork roast tonight. And I got it out of the freezer last night, but I'm pretty sure it's probably still partially frozen. Maybe not, but it probably is. But that's no big deal. It's already five o'clock too. It's like, well, it's not a very good time to be starting that. But I'm just gonna throw it in the Instant Pot and it won't take very long. John's not gonna be home for a couple hours anyway. And anybody else that's in there, if they were hungry, they already ate. I guarantee it. Like Brendan, he gets, he gets his own food most of the time. So does Josh. And Chase has probably found himself something. When he gets home from work, he's starving, so. Anyway, I am just doing a whole bunch of rambling today. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my dinner ready. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.